All right, family, proceed. We're right by you, right behind you. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, family, uh, the presentation is starting. The tour guide is ready for our presentation. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, gotcha. Yes, Sean, you ready to learn about some history? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's Let's learn. Let's learn about the culture. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, they, they, okay. yeah. Um, we're clear to they, we're clear to record inside, outside. Um, when I was in Togo, Benin, I just frustrated every time I would roll up in the museum. Drama. I don't spray They're like, no, you cannot record in here. They spray from all countries. They too tight. Yeah, and that's why I just don't have any. Well, with the exception of uh, Senegal. Yeah. Just don't have them on the schedule. Let's so uh, we, start. We, we, we have the guide here, Elizabeth. She, she will give you the introduction of Arusha Declaration and she will show you. And we're expecting to spend like 25 minutes to 30 minutes. So Perfect. after that we'll be ready to board into the bus and head off for the next uh, plan, for the next place that we're visiting. Um, lots of information are in the walls. You, are, uh, you can... You can Check the photos and read them later or you can go through that one is nice for you memorize it and keep it with you for the rest of your life and then take it with you okay you're welcome please elizabeth is there to assist you Creator, the organizer of the museum. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Arusha Declaration Museum is one of the branches of the National Museum of Tanzania. We have six branches. Um, now we, we are having the one, but not well introduced. Uh, this museum was established in 1977, 10 years after the Arusha Declaration. This building was there even before independence, but it gained its importance when Molibulus Kambaraki Nyerere and Tanu, which was their, uh, our first political party that gave us independence, when they said they, they sit in this building to discuss about the way forward of Tanzania after getting independence. Independence was in 1961, but we had, um, we, we had, I think it was like Molimo thinking that we had, we, we, we hadn't got uh, the full independence because economically, we were still colonized by Europeans. All means of economics were under the Indians, Arabs, and British. So Malim decided to take control of the economy. So in 1967, on 26 to 29 of January, they set up this building to discuss on how to go about our country. So they were discussing about, um, they had some principles of leaders. So if you want to be a leader of Tanzania, you were supposed to be a worker or a peasant. Okay. So a worker or a peasant. You were not supposed to be a trader or a businessman. The second issue was when you wanted to be a leader, you were not supposed to have a house for hiring like a hotel or any, anything that you can hire, any house that you can hire that people can pay for you 
uh, they wanted the economy of the country to be under the government rather than by or owned by the individuals. Um, the other issue, you were not supposed to be um, to have shares to any private company. Um, so more of a common man. Yes. A common man. <laughs> so you were not well. yeah. Yes. It, um, I think he wanted uh, people not to be rich, but the government to be rich. <laughs> uh, the other issue, you were not supposed to have more than one salary. If you were a teacher, you should be a teacher, yeah. They had that discussion for a long time. I think it was not easy because some people who were discussing, some were capitalists and others were socialists. And to his ideas, he wanted Tanzania to be a socialist nation. I think he went to China and other socialist nations. He found that maybe Tanzania would be better if they would follow socialism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some people like Kambona who I think he, he was studying in in UK. Um, he was against him, and he was the secretary of the meeting. They were about seventy-two, but we don't have even those uh, video or notes of discussion. There are no pictures of that event. We don't have. I have never seen it, the discussion of that. It is. It is like they were fighting. Yeah. Um, on after the meeting, Molemirere went to the Islam where there was um, a parliament. He went to discuss with the members of parliament about the issue that they discussed in the Arusha. They accepted that idea that Tanzania now would have principles of leaders, but it should follow the socialism, self-reliance self and socialism policy. Self-reliance that we, we have to, to use everything that we produce, everything that we have should be used by the Tanzanians, but also self social, socialism, it was more about um, Human rights, dignity, equality, no exploitation between man and man. And the reason he, he thought that there was exploitation. Minority were rich and majority were poor. So he wanted us to be equal. Uh, on 5th of February 1967, he announced to the people of Tanzania, the whole people of Tanzania, he was at um, Nazimonia grounds. He announced this, that uh, we had a meeting in Arusha. So we declared that Tanzania is a socialist nation. So from there, we became a socialist nation. And it was a Russian declaration because it was declared in Arusha, but implemented in the whole nation. Uh, the implementation started uh, soon. The first thing was nationalization of major mass production. That everything that were owned by the private companies, by uh, everything like schools, um, mining industries, communication, means of communication, everything now were taken by the government. So even those um, private schools, everything, shops, industries were given to the government. So from there, the government took control of everything, which means um, we forced investors to get out of our country. Um, the other thing that they started to implement, they, he announced that now education will be free for everyone, everyone. Because before, uh, people who were educated were the minority, who were uh, prepared to be the workers of the colonizers. So now he declared that education will be free. So from there, people started to get education. There were, was added education, and all people now were forced to go to school. 
they introduced a lot of hospitals, they started to build infrastructures. Um, later, they, they introduced something called uh, villagization, that people were forced or were required to, to go to the villages where they can be provided social services like hospitals, schools and other things. Because before, people were living scattered, which means they were not uh, given social services. So now they were collected together to be given social services. Uh, it had effect because there was destruction of culture. Some people were moved from their places and stopped to practice their culture. But also, a lot of people died because some people were forced to go to the, to the forest areas where they were, they were, they faced the problem of rain, um, wild animals, so there are some people uh, died. It seems like the idea was not, um, was not understood by the person who came with the idea because there were some people who had the social services, but they were forced also to get up to those areas, then to go to the villages. So it didn't last longer because people, some people returned back to their places, and until today there are no villages as they planned. So in 1977, it showed like people were not implementing the idea. Maybe they didn't understand, but there were some reasons to the failure of the idea. Though now we are, the government says that we are following uh, this idea of socialism in this situation of mixed economy, but there were Kagera war. There was, it happened Kagera war. They used a lot of resources in that war. So it seems like a lot of money was used. So we were, socialism was supported by uh, Scandinavian countries and countries that were following uh, socialism. Uh, it seems like also there was the fall of socialism worldwide. So Russia and other countries who were supporting us, now they couldn't support us, so we were alone. And also, when the, the war happened, those people also supported us a bit, but mostly we failed because the economy uh, was uh, the money that we had to develop ourselves. Because we, we are not that we be a self-reliant nation. Being self-reliant nation, that we can produce everything that we want. There were no exports, no imports of. Of, of goods from any country. So the war caused problems, like there were no oil, there were no food, there were no everything. So we, we needed support from outside. We wanted oil, we wanted food, we wanted everything. Because the country now dropped, we, cannot, we, we couldn't produce anything. So we were forced now to follow the condition from the donors, who are now, we change donors now. We were mm, supported by the socialist nations. Now we were forced to be supported by the capitalist nation. So, uh, and the capitalist nation wanted us to allow investors to come in our country, then we can get support. They wanted us, um, they wanted free trade. And we, uh, at that time, we forced people not to come in our country, no export, no import. So the USA or capitalist nations wanted us to, to allow free trade. They also wanted us to allow much purchasing. So without accepting those conditions, we couldn't get support. That's why in 1984, when Julius Kambaraka decided to go out of the, to, to, decided to give another person to, to be a president, so as he can allow those conditions that we want. Remember, we forced investors to get out of our country. 
Now we want to fall to, to, to hold them again. So Malim couldn't do that. So he decided to allow um, Al Hassan Mwini to be a president so as he can allow investors to come, he can allow free trade, he can allow much parties. We had one part from 1964 until 1984, but we really, we were serious with the um, much parties in, in 1992 after the acceptance of those conditions. So there were no means that socialism will go on. So Malim decided to give this building to the National Museum of Tanzania, which was introduced in 1940. The National Museum was established in 1940. So this building was given to the National Museum in 1977. And Malim himself came here to give this building to the National Museum. So from there, um, he wanted the history of Arusha Declaration to be alive, to be, uh, to be a history that he had an idea, but the idea failed. So he, he, give, he gave this building to the museum. So from that time, we, they decided not to keep only history of the Arusha Declaration, then we have the history from um, pre-colonial society to the contemporary society. So we have the history of pre-colonial society, uh, early contact between Africa and the, and the Far East. We have history of slave trade. We have history of becoming of Europeans, partition of Africa. We have African resistance. We have struggle for independence. We have union between Tanganyika and Zanzibar. We have Arusha Declaration itself. We have the um, birth of Sisi, Chama Chamapeluzi. We have Kagera War and the other history. Here in front, the, the history of the president of Tanzania from Julius Kabaki Nyerere, um, Al Hassan Mwin, Benjamin William Kappa, Jakaya uh, Kikweti and the last month of food. You are welcome. Everything is written on the board. Maybe if you have questions. Questions, uh, anyone? Don't be shy. So you're a socialist nation today? Uh, <laughs> Great question. <laughs> I can't really tell, but I cannot, I can't tell, yeah. But the government that is controlling us now is following socialism. Yeah. Do the presidents have term limits? But how long can your president take term Five years. Five years. I, I think a term is five years, right? Yeah, our term is five years. Okay. But, it's, uh, but, yeah. Two, but you only allow what, two terms? Or two can terms. you be, can you, uh, so no president for life? Okay, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a proper terminology. Yeah, you can move around. Okay, thank you. Any direction? Or? You start from here? Yeah, there's introduction. Yeah. Alright, perfect. So we just we we'll just make our way around ourselves. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Alright, so family, that was a wonderful introduction. Um, yes, thank appreciate you. Appreciate our tour guide. And now it's up to us to let's get our documentation. Do you have books that talk about what you just said? Mm -hmm. Do you have a book? Yeah. Oh. We have some books here. Oh, perfect. Show us the books. None for sale? None for sale? For sale? For sale? I know. Oh, there oh, is. Oh, documentation. Okay, cool. Mali! Okay, hold on. Right, so family, that is the introduction, and we're going to give you another footage, just making our way around little by little. <laughs> 